All right, everybody, what happens if you, as a diabetic, eat walnuts for 30 days? Hi, I'm Dr. Ahmed Tergan. I'm an endocrinologist in Port St. Lucie, Florida. And today, I'm going to give you a simple dietary change that can boost your health. And imagine this, by adding a handful of walnuts. Not any walnut, I'm going to tell you which walnuts you really need. And walnuts actually can sometimes harm you if you don't choose it right. We're going to talk about how to enhance your gut health using walnuts. We're going to talk about weight management using walnuts. We're going to talk about cognitive improvement using walnuts when you have diabetes or even without diabetes. But when you have diabetes, things are a lot more important and hard to achieve, right? Let me guide you through the benefits of walnuts quickly. So these things are small but powerful a significant impact in just 30 days now think of your gut we are gonna talk about gut health right it's a vibrant rainforest teeming with bacteria fungi microorganisms super essential for your health you believe it or not it is there and it is scientific walnuts are super rich in fiber and polyamines Feeding your gut bacteria, helping produce butyrate or butyric acid, which is a fatty acid with anti-cancer properties proven. Regularly eating walnuts, you could boost your gut health and reduce your colon cancer risk. It is horrendous. So we see people with colon cancer in their 20s, in their 30s, in their 40s. That used to not ever happen. In today's world, we see that. Walnuts support your brain health as well. Why is brain health is so important? Let's say you're a diabetic, you didn't die from a heart attack, you didn't die from a stroke, you didn't have a kidney failure, you got lucky, right? You know what's gonna get you? Dementia. So you're gonna get demented 10 to 15 years earlier than someone who is not diabetic. So we, Alzheimer's disease, we call it type three diabetes for a reason. So as a result, you know, you really need to pay attention to that. So for example, I'll show you another study that actually looked at how walnuts can improve memory and cognitive function. And they proved that it helps. Imagine being more focused and mentally agile in your 80s. Well, thanks to polyamines and walnuts, these nuts are rich in omega-3, my friends. They help reduce inflammation and promote your brain health. Now, what about diabetes? What does it do for diabetes? Can walnuts truly make a difference in your managing your condition with your blood sugars and everything else? The answer to that is yes. Well, walnuts have been shown to improve insulin sensitivity and lower blood sugar levels in individuals with type 2 diabetes. Now, I have some people who will say, who will write comments, you know, I sometimes I laugh at these comments like so hard. Uh, I'll say, I eat this walnuts, nothing happened. Uh, okay, what were you expecting? Like a miracle? That's why I'm like, I made this video saying that 30 days. I'm putting a guideline here. So don't think that I said something about walnuts means that you eat the walnuts and next thing you don't have diabetes. I don't say that, but people misunderstand things. In fact, a study found that consuming just two ounces of walnuts per day for a vial can decrease fasting insulin levels by 10% if you're insulin resistant. And if you're a diabetic, you become insulin sensitive. So as a result, your blood sugars, fasting blood sugars will get better as well. So these walnuts in your diet will not only help manage diabetes, but also actually prevent it from happening or getting worse. Like a lot of people will say, Hey doc, I'm doing everything right, nothing changed. Why is my A1C higher? Well, believe it or not, it's not your fault. As we get older, every organ gets older. So as a result, if your pancreas is sick at the end of the day and you're diabetic, and although you think that you reversed it, even five years later, you may still start seeing signs of it just because you're getting older and your pancreas is getting older, but you can do things to slow the process. So hopefully it never comes back again. Polyamines, right? They are again, super important. I'm gonna give you a little scientific thing here. So listen carefully guys, because that some people just say like, what did he just say? I don't understand it. Well, it helps with uncoupling mitochondria, which makes them work better. 
and reduces the chance of damage to your cells. Because if there are damage in your mitochondria, in your mitochondria in your cells, because every cell has a mitochondria, which is the energy powerhouse, right? Then you're in trouble. That's what happens to most neuropathy, most kidney patients. So mitochondria lose its function because of that excessive glucose regulation that they have to do and because of excessive uh, polyols and hexazamines and all those stuff the side pathways glucose is normally supposed to go one way down and one way straight down the street and if there is a traffic what ends up happening to your glucose it ends up going to the side streets and guess what those side streets are dead dead ends so now you have a bunch of cars lined up in all the side streets and they're not going anywhere Guess what happens? That causes clogs in your arteries, in your tiny arteries that feeds your nerves, your, your kidneys, and now you have a problem. So think like those arteries or your tiny arteries are getting into problem and mitochondria that is supposed to keep everything straight is not able to. So foods like walnuts, pistachios, almonds, they are super good to help with mitochondria's role. They have a lot of polyamines, like we said, and they, again, produce something called butyrate, super beneficial short-chain fatty acid. It powers up your colon cells. It has strong anti-cancer properties. So research shows that walnuts and pistachios, my two favorite nuts in the world, are particularly great at feeding the gut bacteria that produces the bitterate. So you understand how important the bacteria is. Bacteria, or gut bacteria, microbiomes, or whatever you want to call them, they help tremendously by producing things that are helpful for your body. They work for you. If you have bad bacteria because you're eating bad food, high carb food, processed foods, they will replace the good guys with the bad guys, okay? Now, as a result, you're not gonna be able to produce those important things like adiponectin, for example, uh, butyric acid, for example. It's super important to keep your gut healthy. Now, adding these nuts to a balanced diet can really boost your overall well-being because when your gut is healthy, forget diabetes, everything will get better. If you don't have diabetes, if you're just insulin resistant, you're tired, you're sick, whatever, you don't feel good, fix your gut. Eat these things that will feed your gut bacteria and you will start feeling better. So aside from their health benefits, walnuts are delicious, right? I mean, it can be great on any meal or snack. You can sprinkle them on salads, mix into your oatmeal if you cannot give up on your oatmeal. Yogurt, always. I mean, people say, I don't like yogurt. Well, spice it up, put some berries, put some nuts. It's going to be great. You make Use yogurt as like, like a base. You don't have to just taste the sourness of yogurt and don't try to go buy yogurt that is mixed with a bunch of carbs to make it tasty just put the healthy stuff on it to make it tasty or you can just do what i do and just munch on some handful snacks you know half the time i don't have lunch you know uh, people you know i'm busy with people whatever the office and all i eat is just a handful of nuts and I'm good to go now there are endless ways to incorporate the nuts to your diet you just have to be mindful and thinking about them keeping them around right so again out of sight out of mind so inside is in your mind so you need to keep them around but you also have to be very careful about their freshness right so that's very important too because if you are eating gut full of not beneficial fungus you are not helping yourself but if you when you do everything right you'll be surprised with the results in just a month now having talked about the quality let's talk about how to buy and keep the good quality now a few minutes so you need to pick the good walnuts so good quality is super important uh, to keep enjoying their health benefits but basically to be sure that you're selecting the fresh pesticide free and fungus free walnuts you may want to go organic Choose organic walnuts because they are grown without synthetic pesticides. You know, even if some people say, oh yeah, organic farming use some pesticides, but their pesticides are more like human friendly. They're not gonna cause any problems in your body. So they're regulated at least, right? So freshness is super important. You wanna make sure that your nut smells like a nut. You know, if it smells like something else, <laughs> then don't eat it. If it is rancid or off, oh, just 
this okay you know so if you're like my dad he'll just eat anything just to prevent to going to waste but i tell him all the time hey dad look you're wasting yourself you know eating something that's not fresh is really not good for you so at the end of the day you're gonna get sick and yeah the you think that the food is not wasted but you wasted yourself now whole walnuts in shells actually last longer so if you want to do that that's great you know pre-shelled ones you have to probably buy small amounts to consume fairly quickly or you have to keep them in the fridge if you want to freeze them that can even make the life of that a lot longer they should be firm free of mold or discoloration because sometimes you go to the stores and they've been sitting there for a while not a good idea right you cannot just trust that something is on the store shelf sh will be fresh farmers market is a great way to buy or whole food stores is a great way to buy that you know the freshness and quality will be there again keep them in a dry if possible cool place you know that will really help and in a tight container air tight container will prevent the accumulation of fungus and so forth like if you freeze them for example it can last up to six months or longer make sure that they're always in a sealed container avoid moisture and you'll be good to go so in summary really incorporating the walnuts into your daily diet offers a huge amount of benefits they are nutrient dense a lot of benefits for your, for your gut health it is great for growing the beneficial bacteria and help them produce bitrate which is a short chain fatty acid like we discussed with anti-cancer properties and it will help your cognitive function and memory thanks to their omega-3 content and it's going to help improve your insulin sensitivity it's going to lower your blood sugar levels it is one of the most diabetes friendly food out there so 30 days give it a try super versatile super delicious and let me know in the comment section what you do with your walnuts and how your 30-day journey went so again your body your gut your brain your waistline all of them will thank you so thanks for watching today and i'll see you in the next video hello everyone thanks for watching and this year we are announcing for 2025 january start a diabetes reversal program and we need your input so go to diabetesreversalformula.com and sign up be a thought leader give us your recommendations how to create this program so we can beat diabetes together see you later